So we've got food expert Nicole Gonzalez here joining us. Thanks for being here. Hey Health Nuts, just drinking my smoothie. By the way, it's so good. I added frozen pineapple to it, which I haven't done for a while. Tastes like candy. It's so good. So I'm just having that. That's my second glass. Also, look how cute her outfit is. Look at how cute. Peace and love. Are you Sagey? I don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> So I want to give a huge shout out to Bye Bye Baby for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. I'm really excited. We got some really fun things for Baby Sage. You gonna join me, Matt, for this? You, yeah. you can keep her occupied. I know, she's just staring at me. So Sage is almost three months and we actually, now that we know, we've gotten to know Sage and what she likes, <laughs> doesn't mm. like, or just kind of as we learn more about babies in general and like what they need at different stages and different months, we've had a better idea of what we were missing because we thought we had like everything, but then there's some things that like you get and she doesn't use or some things that you need later as they get older, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna do a little, we'll call it like three month baby haul. Um, so a lot of this stuff I think is good for like three months plus. And, oh, 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 oh no. okay. Oh, stop rocking for a second. So she's no. at a stage where oh, she good. wants a lot of attention and you know, that's fine. We're, we're home. We're <laughs> All right, she's with daddy, they're playing, so I can do this haul for you guys. So what's really great is Bye Bye Baby does super easy like curbside pickup or you can order online, which is great for everyone staying at home right now. So I did the um, delivery option and it came so fast. It said it was estimated to come in like a couple of weeks. It, like things started coming the next day. It was so fast, so that was really great. And they have such a variety of products. Like literally everything I needed was at Bye Bye Baby. It was crazy. And they just have it really categorized well on their website, so you can find what you're looking for, whether it's for travel, strollers, and car seats. Hi, Cashew. This is not a doggy haul, it's a baby haul. And like I said, now that Sage is getting a little older, we're understanding what products that we still need or that we need more of. Okay, first thing I want to show you guys that I picked up are these sleep sacks. We bought one of them for when, for like before Sage was born and we didn't know how amazing they would be until we started using them because you kind of don't know how things are gonna fall into your routine. Now I'm gonna butcher the name of this company, Gunana, Guna Muna, Guna Muna. Anyways, they are like the softest sleep sacks ever. So basically why I really like this one is, so it zippers around them so it's really safe so they don't have like the blanket is secure around them. And then it also, oh, this one doesn't actually have a swaddle. The one that's zero to three months has like a little strap so you can swaddle them in. And then also you can have it so, um, there are zippers on the side. You can have it so their arms are inside or outside for the one that's zero to three months. So this one looks like there's no swaddle inside. It's just arms, which is great for obviously as they get older. So I actually got a, a bunch of these because we use them right now in the morning. Matt will get her at around 6.30 when she wakes up. He'll get her, change her, and then put a sleep sack on her and then put her in the bed with us and I'll usually nurse her. And she's just nice and cozy in the blanket. I, I feel safe and she just looks so warm and happy with it on. So I got a few different ones and I think one of these is actually called Sage Green. Oh, it's this one. I was actually so impressed that they carried this brand. They have a huge selection, like I said. There's, it's kind of like a one-stop shop all uh, store, which I love because I hate going to like a billion different shops to find everything I'm looking for. So this one I believe is the sage green and obviously I had to get it. They're so soft. They're made with mostly bamboo and like I wish I could get an adult size one. So I got four of these because we got them in different sizes and you always want to have an extra one so you can be washing one and using the other. So I got gray, a star one, sage green and this is the one she has but in a smaller size 
They're so cute. So soft, so soft. So this other product is actually a transport bag for our baby Bjorn bouncer that's right behind me. So we got this um, before Sage was born and it was honestly one of the only things that she would sit comfortably in for more than 10 minutes. She loves this thing, highly recommend it. I believe Bye Bye Baby carries this as well. And they also have this transport, transport bag. So what I love is that when we're going to grandma's or something, we wanna bring this, it folds up really nicely, but I don't want it to get dirty in the car. So when I saw that they had an, a traveling case, I was like, we need that. So yeah, this is just a travel case that you can put that in to make sure it stays, you know, um, clean, free from dirt, especially cause we have a dog. So when we're in the car and stuff, we don't want everything to get covered in dog hair. So I love that. And like I said, it's something I didn't think, I, I didn't even think about that I needed until we had Sage. And I realized we were like transporting our bouncer to from like grandma's house and back here. And this just makes it easier to put it in the travel pack and bring it on the go. Then we just got some like little things uh, like the silicone teether from Lollipop. And they're actually such a cute brand. Um, I really love everything that they carry. And then we also got this um, little cactus toy Ooh. oh that's so cute look <laughs> um this is from skip hop and it's just a little jitter cactus for the stroller or i think you can put it anywhere like you can put it on like one of their play gyms and they can just pull that and this is fun <laughs> we also got some books for her because we're doing book reading before bedtime. So behind me is actually, I'll do a close up, this Fisher Price swing. I have seen so many moms on Instagram talk about how they have all these different swings, ones that were more expensive, and their baby loved the Fisher Price one. Let me find the exact name of it. Okay, so this one is called the Fisher Price Sweet Snugga Puppy Dreams Cradle and Swing. And I cannot recommend it enough. I was so excited that once it arrived, Matt assembled it, which didn't take long at all. And the first time she was in it, she was so happy. I actually put it up on Insta Story, so I'll put a little clip here. She was just like, I'm digging this. Like she was just swinging back and forth, super chill, super happy. And we basically have a little baby circuit going on right now. We've got the bouncer, we've got the swing going on. She's a happy little camper. And funny enough, this is actually one of the more affordable options for swings. And I think that's really great that they just have a variety of items based on your budget needs. And it just goes to show babies do not know the cost of items. They're just like, they either like it or they don't. And it doesn't matter if it costs you $500 or $50, you know, they will know what they like. So this we didn't get from this haul, um, but my brother got this from for Christmas and they carry this. It's a little elephant that like the ears go down and it's great for tummy time. And I guess I can play it for you guys. I'll do the non-song one so I don't get copyrighted. Hello, baby. Peekaboo is most fun with you. Hmm, where'd you go? Peekaboo, I found you. <laughs> it's really cute and it does like do your ears hang low and I just love this. So I don't know if I love it more than Sage does, but she loves it. If she's doing tummy time or something or hanging out in her play gym, this is always next to her singing and just, it's like a little play buddy. It's really cute. By the way, I'm going to have everything that I'm mentioning here linked down below for you guys to shop. So definitely check out the info box. This one here is from Guzzy and Gus. It's a perch hanging high chair in the color charcoal. So I'm actually going to do a little clip because once we have it set up, cause I'm really excited to see what it looks like. So this high chair is so cute. It straps on right onto your countertop or table. So it's a great one just to have, like if you're cooking at an Island or something and you want your little one to be kind of hanging out with you or actually like eating their dinner or food. But I also thought it was great to bring to like my parents or Matt's parents house uh, when we're visiting. So we don't have to bring like her full high chair when she does get to that stage. All right, this next one I'm so excited about. I've actually seen Matt's brother's little guy play with this a ton when he was younger. And I just thought it was so much fun. It's called a Jolly Jumper. It's the original one with a portable stand. So they have one that attaches to your door frame. Um, but for us, this was mo most like suitable because we kind of just all hang out in the living room. If you have a doorway, you can also use that. And it actually folds up really easily for storage. 
Um, this one here is from three months to walking age. So Sage will be able to use it soon, which is so exciting. But like I said, everything is gonna be linked down below. Thank you so much to Bye Bye Baby for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited for all these new goodies for Sage. And I think it's definitely gonna help us with the next, the next big development leap. <laughs> Wish us luck. I hear the, the regression, the sleep regression is around the corner. I have some friends that are going through that right now. I'm a little scared, so that should be fun. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. We're gonna have some lunch and I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, that's how we do it in the house. Mm. CG. Good job. Hi, Siege. Hi. Okay, I forgot about one more item. It was hanging out in the corner. So we also got her a baby, <laughs> a baby play mat. And I'm gonna open it up. It looked so freaking cute on the site. And although it was a little bit more expensive than some of the other options I found, the reviews were amazing. And they just said that it was so comfy, so durable. Um, so like I said, there's like different options for all different budgets, but I really want to invest in a good play mat that was gonna like grow with her and not get ruined in two seconds so she big this is like the length of our living room wow so this is what it looks like it has like little clouds and stuff on it. I'll put a picture of the whole thing open on the screen here. And it's actually reversible too, which is nice. So you can have different options. We are gonna probably put this downstairs for now because she's not really crawling or rolling around yet, but that's probably around the corner. So this is gonna be perfect for when we need it. All right, so that is officially everything for our baby haul. I'm snacking. Matt's making lunch. Mm. I'm so hungry today. I already had lunch. I just heated up some leftovers from last night, but there wasn't enough for Matt. Sorry, Matt. Okay. I'm snacking on these Siete chips in nacho flavor. Mmm. Okay. Pretty good. Good flavor. Mm. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. waiting for Matt to eat and then I think we're gonna go outside for a family hike or just like walk around our neighborhood. Uh, Cashew! Come on, she always gotta be with the, with the family. I'm just talking though, it's gonna be boring. It's gonna be boring. <laughs> so I just want to pop on here. Oop, you guys are bouncing on her laundry hamper. Oh, now you want to attack. See, I told you, you're going to be bored. I told you. So I just want to talk to you guys about how I've been feeling lately uh, with everything going on as a new mom. I think it's really easy to kind of see, you know, what's happening in our lives through the videos. 
I think it's really easy to see things online and think that someone is handling things a certain way than they actually are. And although I feel like, you know, I'm always trying to look at the positive side of things and really, you know, find joy in like every day and like, um, I just wanted to, yeah, sit down and kind of chat with you guys like what's been going, what's been on my mind. Um, and I always feel weird about talking about this because I never want to sound like ungrateful um, because I know there are people that have it like so much worse and you know and I, feel, I was thinking about this this morning as I was getting ready like you can still be grateful for what you have and thankful for your job and all that and still feel sad and for me like obviously this has been my first experience being a mom um, with a little little one and it's been a really interesting experience because I can't do any of those like mommy mommy works or like mommy groups or anything in person like I haven't even seen another mom with a newborn you know like even when I was pregnant I rarely saw other moms that were pregnant I think I maybe saw like I could count on one hand like how many other mamas I saw and so it felt has felt very lonely at times and I'm so grateful for my channel because I'm able to share my journey um throughout pregnancy, uh, postpartum, now as a new mom, and feel like I'm connecting with other moms and people in the world. Um, but at the same time, in my real life, it can feel really lonely. Like, um, one of the girls that I used to work with um, has been so awesome in, like, setting up some, like, online, like, virtual baby mommy uh, group sessions. Like, we did a baby massage, and then the other day we did a music workshop. And that was really fun, and it did feel like more of that connecting community feel but I, I can't lie when I'm even doing those like virtual baby groups I feel sad that it all has to be virtual because like I'm such an extrovert I feel my best when I'm around people and you know and having Sage like I want to share her with my friends and my family mm -hmm. and there are so many family members that have yet to meet her. My grandparents are stuck in Portugal right now. They were supposed to come for Christmas, but they can't fly right now. And, you know, even my best friend has actually only seen her once. My best friend since, like, grade five. Yeah, it's just, like, it's been hard. <laughs> I don't want to get, like, upset about it, but, like, it... I just... I get in these moments where I just feel really down about it, and then I just have to, like, snap... Like, kind of snap myself out of it and just try to think like, you know, that Sage is healthy, we have a nice home that we get to spend time together in, and like just to see like the positive side to it. But it is hard, like when my mom does see Sage, like she wears a mask and you know, everyone's scared of passing something on to Sage. Oh, oh. okay, 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 okay. It's just a really weird time right now to have a baby because it's just, you know, I'm navigating the, a new world while navigating a new world in my, like, current life, being a mom. And it's hard. Um, like, she, luckily I had, like, the support from our doula and our midwives, but, like, she hasn't even seen, like, my family doctor yet. You know, it's just, even when I was, when I was pregnant, I rarely went in to see the doctor. My point is um, not to be depressing, <laughs> just to be honest. You know, it's just to tell you guys how, like, I'm actually feeling. And although it may seem like I'm always happy and cheery in my videos, you know, like, it's not that I'm not. It's just I don't want you guys to think that's how I am all the time, you know? And I want to show both sides. There are just so many things that are different right now, like, even just getting help. If, you know, I need to get stuff around the house or we have a big project that we're working on for work and we need someone to come babysit, like, we can't even, we don't even have that right now with uh, friends and family not being able to come over. Um, and, you know, I, I am grateful that she's at such a little age that she's not, like, missing friends and stuff like that. So, you know, as much as she's growing and changing so much and, like, I know when everyone is able to see her, she's going to be, like, this completely different person. I am grateful that, you know, by the time she's hopefully able to, like, walk and talk a little bit, she can, you know, see friends and family and other babies, too. Like, socializing her is so important to me and, you know, her meeting other babies. It's going to be weird for me, too, because, like, I haven't seen since having Sage... I haven't really seen other moms with their kids or newborns at all so yeah it just feels a little lonely like you're navigating this new world by yourself so 
it's been really nice to share my journey on YouTube and connect with all you guys and, you know, be able to share Sage with you and our new family and our new life. And yeah, thank you for following along. Honestly, I still can't believe I'm a mom. I'm like, what is life? Hey, are you standing? Whoa, we're going to go for a family walk. That's another thing too. I've just been really focusing on what makes me feel good. And the last couple days, like I haven't actually gone outside much just because it's been so cold and it's been too cold to bring Sage out. Uh, so today it's a little bit warmer. It's nice and sunny. So we're going to bundle her up and we're going to go for a family walk, get some fresh air. Honestly, like just getting sun on your face, I feel like really improves your mood. So we're going to do that, right? I think that's what mommy needs. I'm going to feed her a little bit more and then we're going to bundle up and go outside. We're going to go outside. Okay. <laughs> okay, go. Go play. You got a stick? Nice and sunny. It's nice out. Nice and warm. The sun. Yeah, warm. I thought it was going to be colder. No. Well, I mean, it's like it's minus seven, but with that. With the sun, it's actually, the sun's really warm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Keeps up your soul. Gets rid of that winter, winter <laughs> blues, you know? And Cashew loves it. Little, and it's her birthday. Little vitamin D. Yeah, little vitamin D. Little fresh air. There's the sun. Ah, man, I needed this today. Feels good. Oh, that was such a needed walk. Sage was passed out the entire time. Let me show you how cute she is. Someone's tired. What's your favorite thing about Sage? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Right now? I don't know. I like how she chews her hands. I think that's funny. I <laughs> like that. Uh. Yum, yum, yum. Uh. Made some tacos for dinner tonight. These are just some grain-free taco shells. And then I have some ground beef with beans and onions, taco seasoning, tomatoes, lettuce, and instead of sour cream, I actually used some uh, organic yogurt. So that is what we're having. I also have a glass of sparkling water with some lemon juice in there. I'm gonna eat first, and then Matt's gonna eat. Right? <laughs> oh, see, she's wearing one of her sleep sacks. Yeah, you love it, huh? Whoa, look at her belly. She's got a diaper on. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, we're gonna take a bath later. And then you're gonna sleep for eight hours tonight, right? <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> All right, cheers. I'm gonna try one of these. They look really good. I've been into tacos a lot lately. Like every Taco Tuesday, we're eating these, but today's what, Taco Saturday? Right, Sage? That's delicious. All right, I'm gonna eat this and then Sage and I are gonna have a bath and get ready for bedtime. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Thanks again to Bye Bye Baby for sponsoring. I will have all the products linked down below that I mentioned. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.